Ladies and gentlemen, now let's do an if statement. If is kind of like our English language when also. Um, if, when, they make the same thing. When this happens, do something. But in a computer, it's actually if this happens, do something. So again, there are pragma statements at the top, our setup. We already went through motors and set up, sensor setup, set everything up. Um, yeah, I just called my line follower George. I'm not using it for this anyways. A limit switch called limit, a bump switch called bump, a light called light, right center left motor. Okay, so again, our task main, and then a squirrely, uh, squiggly bracket, and then we want this thing to run forever. We can turn it off manually. Um, so while one equals one, so let's just do this forever, and then a squiggly bracket say, here's some code, and now my if statement, and this is how it looks. If something happens, do something. So this says, if the sensor value for the limit switch is one, which means if I press the limit switch, turn off the LED, turn on the right and the center motor, stop the left motor. Now, I also happen to have a second if statement in there. Um, you could do it with just one and you could see what happens. But I've got two so things can be going on all the time. And I also said, if the sensor value of the limit switch is zero, run the left motor and have a light for that. So now you notice that the ifs have their own squiggly brackets. So the code for the ifs are inside squiggly brackets. So there's one there, there's one there. That's for that first if statement. Then there's another if statement. Open some code, close some code. And then there's a couple squiggly brackets down there, um, closing the while and closing the program. So. Again, here's what's gonna happen. We, again, you compile the program. It's all going, saying things are nice. Download the robot. Boom, boom, boom. It's ready to run. Start it. So again, my, if the limit switch is not touched, run the left and turn the light on. But if I touch the limit switch, turn off the left and run the other two. That, look, running, not running, running, not running. And those two always run because I never tell it to stop those motors. Okay. So that's how an if works. If a sensor value hits something, if some something happens, and again, you can do counts. If count is less than five, do this kind of thing that works the same. So that is a setup for an if.